16090 is what I would say um, we call a brand advertising agency. We do everything from branding all the way to advertising and in between. For the University of Dayton specifically, we developed the brand in the beginning and then rolled the brand out from TV to website to print design, the whole nine yards. We wanted to be kind of in the business of clearly demonstrating our value through high touch and high tech. They're a challenger school right now. Not everybody has heard of them. So we have to come up with new and innovative ways to, to cut through the clutter and get their name out there. And um, the Adobe Digital Publishing Suite really allowed us to do that. When we talked about doing the iPad application, we weren't necessarily sure how we were going to do it. And it made a lot of people here very nervous. So the idea of sort of a turnkey application that was going to be more of a designer's tool than a developer's tool was, you know, it was, a, it was kind of a godsend for us. We created the original viewbook in uh, InDesign CS5. For us, it was taking that printed piece and finding a way to basically distribute it to a whole new audience. We wanted to leverage whatever the investment we made in the print, but translate in a much more interactive way and leverage the whole capacities of the Adobe system. One of the things that really allowed us to get this project moving was that a lot of the control was in the hands of the designers. So as an interactive team, that allowed us to kind of work in our, our area of expertise, but it also allowed the designer to take the layouts that had already been approved for this book, uh, reposition them to, to fit the tablets, and kind of create the layout they need to work that would, that would integrate with our solutions. You don't need really much of interactive experience or understanding and coding or anything like that. If you're familiar with InDesign CS5, it's so simple to carry your knowledge over and turn a print design into now digital design. You define spaces where you can navigate and scroll. You define places where you work in a video asset. But then you just put the functionality the interactive aspects to it on top of it, and it's it's really as easy as that, and that's uh, that's a great plus for for the agency as well as the client. Our primary concern was coming up with a way in which our audience for our client, University of Dayton, could get the most rewarding engagement possible. And what the Adobe Digital Publishing Suite did was was basically fulfill that. Um, in, in every way that we could conceive, quite honestly, and we're now thinking about, okay, what's next? How do we do more? <laughs> Once we finish the design in InDesign, we take the file, upload it to the Adobe web page, go through a couple of steps, and submit it to the iTunes store. What's really nice about the pay-as-you-go option is we submit the file once, we pay for it once, and it's up there until we need to change it. When we launched this application, within like three weeks, we saw close to 20 plus countries the viewbook is being downloaded. The key thing is like people are looking at us as cutting edge, innovative, because all the things that we want people to associate with a UD education, now they are associating through this application. The Adobe Digital Publishing Suite is a game changer because it is filling those gaps between strategy, concept, design, build, and deployment, and it allows one very talented person or a very small number of talented people to do a job that you would envision would, would necessarily take dozens. I mean, what more could you ask for in a creative environment to be able to kind of build fresh new things without feeling encumbered by the realities of technology? It's great. It's truly liberating.